Hello and welcome to Video Jug. Our solar system is in a galaxy very similar to this one, about three quarters of the way out from the center. From the Earth, our galaxy can be seen stretching across the sky. We call it the Milky Way. Our Sun is a medium-sized, middle-aged star amongst about six billion other stars in the galaxy. It has a surface temperature of over 6,000 degrees centigrade. The dark areas are called sunspots. These are magnetic storms coming up from the interior. The sun is not actually burning, but instead it is a nuclear reaction turning hydrogen into helium. And with X-ray it looks very violent indeed, but all of life on Earth depends on the sun. Coming out from the sun, the first planet is Mercury, the smallest of all the planets. Mercury is not much bigger than our moon, and like the moon, it is covered in deep impact craters from meteorites. The surface is so hot, it can melt lead. Next is Venus. It is often known as the evening star or morning star because it is only visible either just after sunset or before sunrise. It is the brightest of all the planets that we can see in the sky. Venus is very similar in size to Earth, but it is covered in a thick blanket of cloud. However, using radar we are able to see right through the clouds to the surface of the planet. These clouds are causing a runaway greenhouse effect, making the temperature on the surface climb to over 400 degrees centigrade, hotter even than Mercury. Earth, the blue planet, and our home. 153 million kilometers from the sun and four-fifths of it is covered in water. It was not until the 16th century that people realized that the Earth was actually a planet. From space, the continents are easily visible. This is the Strait of Gibraltar. It's the only planet that we know of that has life on it, up till now. The Moon is our nearest neighbor in space at 384,000 kilometers. The Moon goes around the Earth every 28 days but it always keeps the same face pointed towards us. The dark areas are called seas. They are not real seas of water, however, just areas of a different colored material than the surrounding areas. The surface is pockmarked with thousands of craters caused mostly from impacts from meteorites over millions of years. There are also many high mountain ranges, some stretching for hundreds of miles. Between 1969 and 1972, 12 American astronauts landed on the moon. The first two were Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. Some of the later astronauts even took a car along with them to go exploring. Mars is the red planet. Mars has polar ice caps made from frozen carbon dioxide. These grow and shrink throughout the Martian seasons. There are very high winds on Mars that create dust storms, sometimes covering the whole planet. The surface is colored red and is very barren, and because of the winds it is much eroded. For many years it was believed that Mars had life on it. NASA has sent probes to Mars to search for life, but without much luck, unfortunately. Mars has two tiny, potato-shaped moons called Phobos and Deimos. Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system, but unlike Earth, it is not made from rock. It is a gas giant made mostly from hydrogen and helium. It is so big, it could easily swallow all the other planets. Despite its size, Jupiter spins very quickly. A day on Jupiter lasts just 10 hours. The Great Red Spot is believed to be a giant storm that has been raging in the upper clouds for over 300 years. It is 10 times bigger than Earth. Saturn is the second largest planet. Like Jupiter, Saturn too is a gas giant with no rocky surface. What we see is merely the tops of the clouds. The most striking thing about Saturn is its ring system. They are not solid, but split into many different rings. And while being many hundreds of thousands of kilometers across, they are less than 100 meters in thickness. Saturn also has many moons, the largest of which, Titan, is the biggest in our solar system. 
Uranus is the seventh planet from the Sun and is the third largest in our solar system. Uranus is a very odd planet. It is tipped over onto its side and rolls around the Sun, keeping one pole always pointed at the Sun while the other pole is in constant darkness. Recently, it was discovered that it too had a ring system, not quite as good as Saturn's. Neptune is the fourth largest planet in our solar system. It is four and a half billion kilometers from the Sun. It was not discovered until 1846. Neptune's atmosphere is mostly hydrogen and helium gases. Methane gas in the upper part of the planet's atmosphere gives Neptune a vivid blue color. Neptune was visited in 1989 by a NASA spacecraft called Voyager 2. Almost everything we know about Neptune comes from this mission. Finally, tiny Pluto and its companion Chiron. Pluto was only discovered in 1930 by American astronomer Clyde Tomber. In 2006, Pluto was downgraded. It is no longer considered a planet. It is too small and its orbit so erratic that the International Astronomical Union agreed it should now be called a planetoid or minor planet. Hats off to poor Pluto.